Hello and welcome back to Evolution, the world of Sacred Device. Last time, remember? Well... We went through seven floors of the Descent Runs and we're going to finish up... Hopefully in this video. Let me show you. I made sure that um, Pepper's special bullet parts are level two. I mean, her bullet parts, her regular bullet parts are just basically just that. But the one thing we are going to work hard at is getting the flat shot. <clears throat> Because that is going to be most important as a make or break um, weapon for the boss. For bosses, I should say. I'm not really worried about um, the item so much. Make sure I get enough item management out of the deal. Would be, you know, more than enough. So let's say if it's if this floor is worth anything. Aside from all the running around I've been doing anyway. At this rate, we might hit 19 or 20 before the before the end of the dungeon. Oh, when the music changes. It randomly changes. That's our intervals. And then it just switches back. I never did understand that. Oh, that was bringing me closer. Makes him more deader. And that's fine by me. Oh, 
Yeah, that's dead. <laughs> that's beyond the level of dead right there. And I like it. <clears throat> yep, level 19. Here we go. So as we start building up levels, here it comes. Advantage. I don't have a code that says, um, you know, surprise every enemy. Because, oh, I will use it in a heartbeat. search. I mean the music. If anything, the music just sets the mood. short jacket. Reason why I want to do that. I'd rather get rid of it on the field than, you know, be in combat with it. You know what? 
That's something I will definitely take. Thank you. I'm not sure about if there's a certain gimmick when we reach the boss layer. But that's one thing I just do not like, which is, you know, a gimmick before reaching the boss. get rid of that as soon as possible as you can tell why another short jacket game now now you're just really starting to play with me Sky Telescope. Nothing. Nice. Some more now and go. That's always nice. She didn't do anything to you. Now they're all level 19. Always nice. That's not nice.
The game feels like that's an unused track. There we go. You always want to get the initiative. They give you plenty enough chances to do so. There we go, the flat shot. That's what it does. That's why we we're. That's the reason why I did a hell of a lot of grinding. Just to make sure I got that one move. why it's going to be useful for the boss. Because in a way, it just makes it weaker. And trust me, the grind was worth it. starting to catch up.
Welcome home, dear. At this rate, we might, we might just go as far as this. close to it. turn. That makes you dead faster. Really fast. So now I have flame hand parts which I'm going to slap on the mag.
you know, that's not bad. Just give it an extra HP. That's always a good thing. But it was only temp. Because if it was like, oh, temporary, I mean, if it was like permanent, okay, yes, I'll, I'll take it. So, you know, uh, HP boost. Nothing wrong with HP boost. Let's see, how far longer do we have to go through this dungeon because we might be... <sighs> As I said, we're... We're already at our 20s. Thank you. These rooms look so weird. But I suppose it fits the theme. There's just clogs. from a karaoke. <laughs> All that he learned from a karaoke.
Oh, thank goodness. taken out in like one turn of tax. Like so. At least for the most part that I'm going through this, it's worth it. Like we need a push rubber. Sure, a red viper like we need it at this point.
I'm pretty sure we're gonna be using chain gun. Pretty soon, but you know, not now. <laughs> A scarlet bow tie. Well, we already know who that's going for. Okay, we have hit Trip Central right now. We're on the 13th floor. Oh, this is Trip Central. And there's nothing worse than a spiral staircase, especially one that going up. This seems like the deepest part. I doubt even the society could come say me beyond this point. Should get my equipment in order and make a record too. Yep, that's for Greg. Strange as it is. So before we actually go in here, we're going to switch up formation by making sure that none of us are in the back row. That's good. Now, I do believe the boss has a certain affinity for the cult. Two seconds. Okay. So, I got a walkthrough up and I just looked through who we're going to be dealing with. And thankfully, we do have something to protect us. Now, the thing about this boss that we're going to take on... Monograptus! This weird-ass thing has a tendency to do the following. It likes to use lightning attacks. So now we got lightning resistance. And they got time to look at that shit. And now flat shot.
Oh, and that's a super, super special. A giant knuckle. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Magna Ray. Kiryuki be crazed. Oh, I see. No, we need... We need protection. Go use blindness. Take two. That's, that's definitely gonna hurt. Number three. Well, guess what? We got something for blindness. Quite useless after three shots in the flat. And we're like two levels behind him. What the fuck was that? Seriously, what the fuck was that? Even, even the... Oh my god, the damage is... Pathetic! See, 
look at this! And you're done! Get the fuck out of here! A scarf. A scarf? Hmm. I wonder what this jewel is. It's full of holes. In any case, I should bring it to the society. At least I finished my assignment. I, I can't tell because I can't see out. But I bet I've climbed up very high. You did it! You cleared the ruins! Congratulations! Twice in a row? How impressive! We look forward to do business again. By the way, I calculated your prize money for this adventure. It comes out to 20,000. And I'll just take 3,000. The rest is all max share. Well, at least 17,000. Alright, I'll use max share to pay what you owe. It still is in debt. It would be fair to Mag use all of his share to repay the large, large family debt. I'll just take 13 6 to apply toward your outstanding debt. At least you have a remainder of 3,400. I had so much fun on your adventure, Mag. I hope you invite me again. Well, see you around. Ciao. Mr. Gray is neat in his own way, but a daring woman like Miss Pepper is wonderful as well. I really admire people who are so cool like that, both men and women, don't you, Mac? Yeah, I guess so. It's important to stay cool. The society's closed for today. We look forward to doing business with you again. I just say something brilliant? I better make note of it. Hmm. That's my notepad. What did you say? Oh, oh well. Is there something you'd like me re to research? Could you appraise this, please? The sky telescope. There you go. So, you see why Pepper is a better bet to have in your party than, say, Gray or Chain? I mean, Gray's alright. Chain, from what I remember, she's... She alright, but, you know. Okay, time to upgrade. As I said, it's, it's it's a lot like Wild Arms. I 
I mean, that's my main attack. So I was like, my bread and butter is is the hand. So I was like, okay. The harder it hits, the better it'll turn out. So I save. Drop save like, like so. I mean, the good thing is, if you're two levels under under the boss, or a level under the boss, you're still in good shape. But as long as you have someone like um, Pepper, that that's the reason why. Always in my party, I would go with Pepper first, because technically. Just because... Just because... That flat shot, or the flat tone... It makes her a godsend. Makes any and all enemies and bosses just weak. Let's go back to the mansion like so. Welcome back, Mag. What are your plans for the rest of the day? I'm tired. I'll we'll just call it a day. Must be linear playing her ocarina. <sighs> I never get tired of hearing that sound. Yes, it has a soothing effect on the listener's mind. It's the timber. By the way, do you remember when Linear first came to us? Yeah, that was a rough time. She said nothing about my father's letter. She was so tense all the time. Yes, but when you played the ocarina, she somehow calmed down. <laughs> yeah, after that, she practiced the ocarina every day. It didn't take her long to get better than me. <laughs> that linear. As far as healers are concerned, she's like the most purest healer there is. Linear's powers brought the dead flowers back to life. Her powers never ceased to amaze me. Oh, so that's why the flowers around that house are in bloom all year round. Hey, wait a minute! No one ever told me that Linear had that kind of talent? You didn't know? Of course you didn't know, Mag. That's because Linear tended the flowers early in the morning when you were still sound asleep. The flowers bloom for more than a year. I haven't seen such amazing powers in a long time. Linear! Way to go, Linear. Tell me how you've done it. Come on, please! When kind-hearted Linnea sees a living thing in pain or distress, she must feel that pain herself. Perhaps God prolongs the flower's life so that Linnea won't be saddened by its withering. That's my interpretation. Ah, uh, but perhaps I'm a tad too romantic. Yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> but it's still great that Linear has that kind of talent.
That's true. Meanwhile, on the Krabby Patty. Holy, sir, a massive energy reaction. Whatever it is, it's huge. So, it is here after all. It must be Evolutia, the most important legacy from the ancient civilization. Sir, I have the numbers. The first response was indeterminate. Then, 9200, no, 9300 every two seconds. Wonderful. Mount Hope, where's it coming from? Um, here, near Pan Am Town, sir. Pan Am Town, ah, yes. Home of Ashrak Launcher. I knew that little brat was hiding something. I wonder what we will find. Listen, send a message to the homeland requesting official deployment of the 4th Fleet, now on standby. Tell them we need reinforcements to protect the research vessel. They're very mad. <laughs> Get up early. I got up with the rising sun. It feels great to live such a long life. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, that's not the life for me. I'm no rooster. I'm just not a morning person. Well, Eric, you hate mornings too, right? How could Linnea hate mornings? Every morning without fail, she has all the plants around the house. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So you like to take care of people, don't you? Of course. That's why she's with you. <laughs> hey, give me a break, will you, Gray? Uh, please excuse me, Mag. I was only teasing. <laughs> well, then. Well, good luck on your adventure today. Give it your best. Don't I always? Let's go, Linear. So, the next set of runes we're going to take on are going to be the Shades runes. You've been doing so well lately. You complete your assignments so proficiently, you make our job a lot easier, too. Proficient. <laughs> Actually, it's not as easy as you make it sound. Is that modesty I hear? <laughs> Have confidence as an adventurer. Well, then, which ones are you going to visit next? We have the Sheol Ruins and the Shades Ruins. I believe Shades are next. Do you want to visit those ruins? Uh, of course, I know what I'm doing. Alright, I'll get you clearance right away. You can leave on your new adventure whenever you're ready. Well then, good luck. Give it your best, Mag.
I think this time... This time we're gonna have Pepper, again. Because since she was a godsend in... In the Descent runs, well, you know we gotta have her in the Shades runs. Let's check. Looks like the Jasmine side. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna invite me? Well, first tell me about yourself, Pepper. Oh, have you developed the secret interest in me? You sure it's okay with your girlfriend? Well, me? I've been exploring for seven years now and traveled all over. I like liquor, but not hangers. So my rule is not to drink too much. This is a S-E-C-R-E-T. The more mysterious a woman is, the more intriguing, right? I did it. Wish me luck. I welcome the chance to adventure with all of you. I mean, it's so obvious why I would give Pepper a go a second time around. Sure. Is it, isn't it that damn obvious? So let's just make a save here and then stop. And in the next part, we'll be introducing ourselves into the Shades rooms proper. So stay tuned more of Evolution, the world of sacred device, right after this. Thanks so much for watching.